Stevenson defeats Hood tonight 25-7. to Glenn Clark with head coach Kathy Raley. Coach, uh, pretty impressive performance from start to finish from your team. This groove that you've been in these last couple of weeks, how good do you feel about the way this team is performing, really, in kind of all facets of the game? I, I think the thing I'm most proud of right now is we're really starting to make some good adjustments on the field in real time without having to call a timeout to, to resituate. Uh, we're doing a great job of reading what kind of defense the other team is in and adjusting, and it doesn't look like we're stopping and adjusting. We're just flowing right into the adjustments. The ball movement is exceptional. Mm -hmm. um, we do need to clean up the ball movement in transition. Again, we, we had really focused on it, and then we got better at it, and now it's starting to slip again in transition. You know, If we miss one transition a game, I totally understand that. That might just be by you know a good ride, but we're, we're missing five and six transitions a game, and we can't – if we want to compete with, with uh, at the top level, yep. we can't be turning the ball over in transition. So we're going to go back to the drawing board on that on Friday. Um, so, you know, I'm just really proud. I'm really proud of, uh, of how many different goal scorers we have and, and how many different people have caused turnovers. And we played two goalies today that made saves. And, you know, when you have that depth, that's a really great thing. Well, you're getting a lot of draws recently, too. Uh, that, one or two. Yeah, that's been helpful. Let's talk about Caitlin. Um, I think what's really remarkable, MC and I were talking about how she's going to end up putting a lot of distance on this record. It's not just that she got the record. She's going to put a lot of distance on this record, despite the fact she missed a lot of games in there because a of... Year, if you exactly. really think about it. How amazing is it to you what Caitlin has been able to do to this point in her career and really at the moment where we can almost count on double digit draws every game well you know when, when I think about Caitlin I think about she just came to school as a like a girl and she is leaving such an, a, a fantastic young woman and I you know she she works hard to practice her craft um, she always expects the best, but she's also the greatest teammate and so supportive of every single person on the team. Um, she makes her teammates want to play so hard so that she gets that draw control. Uh, she's that kind of leader of our team. Uh, just today, and I think a, a couple games ago, I started to really watch her adjust how she draws, how she positions her first step. So she's now to the point where she's not only a good draw taker, but she adjusts and adjusts and adjusts so that she's getting more and more draws in different ways. So it's been really, it's just been such a fun thing to watch. And, you know, when we were struggling with it, uh, the captains said, hey, everybody, we're going to work 15 minutes a day on draws. And it's, I mean, just since that point, We've just taken off as a team, and that really makes me happy. It was also cool to see how much it meant to the entire team. Oh, yeah. The moment she got the record, yes. and you can tell how much she means to yes. the entire team, yes. which I think is pretty powerful. Are you trying to make me cry every single time <laughs> I get up here now? <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, <laughs> let's go. Let's go here. Uh, you, uh, I don't want to look past. You got an opponent on Saturday, obviously, mm -hmm. and a big game coming yes. up on Saturday. Uh, what still the big you, you referenced you know some of the turnovers and the issues in the clears a little bit earlier but you, I mean, we all know there's a big week coming up and sure. then some some big games on the road what's the biggest difference right now between this team that's playing so well and being a team that's ready to assert themselves as the team to beat in this conference we have to we have to get better defensively right now uh, we are fouling too much and we've got to understand that aggressiveness um, can occur without fouls and until we do that we're going to be putting really good teams and really good free position shooters on the line and that's going to be tough to recover from so our positioning is great our strength is great our footwork is great we've got to stop bumping in the 1v1 and until we do that we're not going to be a great defense so um, this is a receptive defense this is a good cohesive unit we've got three people out of maybe the seven that are bumping regularly and fouling regularly and if we can get those three people on board to to limit the number of fouls I just don't see how another defense or another attack is going to have an easy time scoring on us so um, they're minor adjustments Glenn and, and and nothing that we're overly overly worried about but we are hyper aware that we have you know, just a week to get ready for this. Big yes. Week, big, week. Yes. big game coming up first yes. on Saturday. Coach, congratulations Thank on a you. great win. We'll Thank see you Saturday. Thank you. She's Kathy Raley.